What's up, it's Yo-Yo. Welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into my leather jackets. Now, the reason why I call this my leather jacket collection is not because it's necessarily a collection right now, but I wanna make it into one. Right now, I just feel like I have a lot of leather jackets. And as I started looking them over, I was realizing that a lot of them look similar in the sense that they're black with zippers, etc., with the exception of a few. So I really want a more curated leather jacket collection. It's that time of year where we're gonna throw on our leather jackets. Um, I mean, in Florida, if I get a chance to wear my leather jacket during fall, maybe sometime at night, and I just threw on this t-shirt because that's typically how I wear my leather jackets. I'm not, as I thought about it, I don't really dress my jackets up. If I'm gonna throw on a leather jacket because I have a t-shirt on and I just wanna funk it up real quick over a pair of jeans and boots, etc. And, I mean, I have shorts on right now. I don't know if you can see, but I am not uh, above putting on a leather jacket with shorts. I will do it. I will put on leather boots with shorts, leather jackets with shorts, so on. So, makes me no difference. I mean, you know, if, if that's how I'm feeling, if that's how I'm feeling, that's what I'm going to wear. So, no rules, no rhyme or reason. It's just, I'm feeling like a leather jacket. It's a little cool. I'm going to throw it on. So, um, let's get started with these jackets. I don't have them in any particular order. Um, this first one is, I've never worn it. Um, I've probably had this for about six months or more, maybe a little more than six months, but this is from Super Dry. Um, it's so funny when I got this in super dry. It was on sale, so I assumed it was faux leather based on the price. And so I fell in love with it. And it's an oversized jacket, and it's meant to be oversized. You can see the cut of it. It has like what you might consider um, a bit of a bat wing. I hope you can see that. And I hope you can see the details of it. So a bit of a bat wing. Now this is a small, but if I could have gotten this in an extra small, I would have, but the price was so amazing for lamb leather that I wasn't leaving it there. And I just love the big oversized look of it anyway. So um, I think I tried, I mean, I know I tried it on in the store, but since then I haven't even laid eyes on it. It's just been hanging up. So let me get a little feel for my jacket. If I had thought better about this, I probably would have pinned my hair up for this. But this is usually what's happening when I'm throwing a leather jacket on and running out the door. So this one I really like, um, you know, thinking about paring down my leather jackets to rebuild it into a, a actual collection that's curated. Um, I think this is one of the ones that I'm gonna keep. I mean, I don't know about you, but I typically don't zip up my leather jackets when I wear them. I don't know how the back of my hair is looking, but hopefully it's okay. Um, so yeah, I really love this one. It feels great. And like I said, if I could have gotten this in an extra small, I would have because it's already made to overfit, but it's still funky like this regardless. Let me move my hair out of the way so you can get a feel for it. I mean, I think this is one of the ones that I want to keep. Let me know what you think. I um, Well, after you see them all, let me know what you think. Because I think I'm going to keep this one. So, it has these buttons, button snaps right here. Um, and like I said, I think I got it six months ago. So, I can't say that something like this will still be available. However, what you can do is check out the outlet check out the super dry outlet and as a matter of fact now that i'm giving it any thought i was just at the super dry outlet and i think the jacket is still there so there you go but like i said mine is a small and i'm already slim built so yeah i think i want to keep that one let me get to this one this now i really don't even know <laughs> i put it in my leather jacket collection but 
I think it's faux. I think it's faux shirling and I think it's faux suede. But this jacket is from the GOAT, Serena Williams. Now, I know she showed at New York Fashion Week for, I think, spring, summer, 2023. But this, I haven't even, I've never even, when this came, I actually had to dig up these jackets, like literally digging through bags and boxes to get to these jackets because I haven't even seen this jacket since I purchased it. Um, yeah, I haven't seen this since I, since I purchased it. I mean, I think the the paper is still on the buttons and maybe I'll, I don't know, I guess I'll leave it on there, but this is, and it has a belt. And I don't know, I saw it and the fact that Serena made it and I just love her and I was just loving all of the fashions that she was coming out with. And this is, this is when she first started her, well, that I know of. This is when she first started her collection with um, one of those shopping, I think it was HSN if I have that correct. Yes, I think it's S by Serena or something like that, but not something like that. Let me tell you exactly what it is. It's the Serena Williams signature statement. And I just, I fell in love. I, give me a fur collar. Let me move my hair out of the way. Probably gonna have to find a rubber band, something. I'm probably gonna have to find a hair tie. But in any case, this is the jacket and it's like a faux, it's very soft. Faux suede, I mean, I don't know if I'm gonna keep it. Look at, I mean, I've had this, I probably had this for six years, maybe six years. And I've never, worn it never here's the back i don't know let me see if i can get my hair out of the way so you can see the back so this is the back of it um i don't know if this one is going to be a keeper because i'm just not wearing i haven't worn it at all not I'm just not wearing it i have not worn it i do love it though i love the off-white kind of cream color um is the inside you can see that and it really feels very warm and because I have a very obsessive type personality when it comes to clothing and shoes and purses and jewelry and fragrances and all of the things I have too. Yes, I bought it in another color. Now this, I wonder, did I wear this or did I just try it on because the paper is not on this one and the tag is taken off. And typically for me, a telltale sign, well, not really. Because sometimes I make a mistake and take a tag off. And when I say a mistake, I just typically try to keep tags on things until I wear them because if eventually I'm not going to wear them and I give it away as a gift or just give it away period a donation it's just nice to for someone to know that you know they have something that's new to them so to speak um so the tag is off of this which makes me think maybe I got an opportunity to wear it once but I don't remember and I bought it at the same time I got the cream one so and with this still being in this not like this no I tied things up so anyway maybe I wore it maybe I didn't but this is the same jacket but in black and I have an obsession with black 
I love black. If it comes in black, give it to me in black and a color because I love color, but I really just love black. It's just something mysterious, funky, badass. I don't know. All of the things that I love about black. So this is the jacket, same jacket, like I said. And with trying to pare down, and remember, I'm not paring down to pare down. I'm paring down to build back up. So, yeah. I haven't gotten to that place where I want to pair anything down. <laughs> Except maybe my shoes. But in any case, I don't know. So you let me know. I mean, I'm pairing down. You've seen, what, three so far? So this next one. Now, I, I haven't had this jacket for a very long time. I may have had this jacket. Or it's even got this, like dust on it from just being this one like these were this one was hung up but in a place that I don't even visit in my in my closet space so but many of them were just in bags I had to dig through to get to them anyway let me stay focused this is from a brand called Allworthy if I remember correctly Allworthy is um, a model who created the brand and I think she created the, the brand for I want to say HSN but it also could be QVC but I think it is HSN and it's called Allworthy I've had this for maybe maybe two years or maybe a year and a half but never wore it and this also comes with the belt but I don't see it which is unlike me to not throw a if this had a belt to throw it in the pocket or something because, but I know I know it's not lost I'm sure I've packed it neatly somewhere I'm fairly certain of that this hasn't let me see what's in this pocket just some kind of tag so anyway you know, with buttons here. Your typical jacket, but not typical because for starters, it has the thumb holes. I think that's what got me. That I saw, when I saw the thumb holes, I was like, oh, I need thumb holes. And then the fact that it was gray, I was like, give it to me. Now, this can actually zip up on me comfortably, but I don't know about you, but it's rare that I zip up my leather jacket. I mean, I will, but it's rare. So that button's over there like that. And this is um, all cotton, like a uh, like a sweatpants type, a sweatshirt type of material. It feels really nice. Um, this is the back. And again, let me get my hair out of the way so you can see. Hopefully, I'm in frame. You know what? I should probably check to make sure I'm in frame. Hold on. Yeah, so I just checked, and yes, I am in frame, but it's kind of tight. In any case, I'm in frame. So we left off with this one, um, the All Worthy. I don't think I don't know if I told you it. It is um, faux leather, and then it has that kind of sweatshirt material. It's, it feels really cozy, and I just love the color on this. Um, because the color is unique, that's part of the reason why I'm considering keeping this one. But I'm not, I'm not sure about that just yet. Not totally sure about that. Um, so, so far, we know I'm keeping that super dry jacket because I just love the cut on that. It's, it's, it's unique. Um, this next jacket... is a oldie you pardon me excuse me this is a oldie laundry by Shelly Siegel Los Angeles extra small 
All right. So this one, oh, let me give you a better look at it if I can. I'm just looking at this. This is one of the ones I had to, if you can, you can probably tell by how crinkled and wrinkled it is because that is not the style. It's It was in one of those bags that I had to dig through to find. Um, but I see that, and this must have just been from being in like a plastic bag or something, but it almost seems like it has a copper type of like there's a wear and it's almost has a copper like color on it i don't know if you can see that but that's the deal with it you can see that i remember i don't remember when i got this but i just remember all the years that i wore this i just i love this little jacket um but it might be her time. Now, this jacket, easily 12 years old. Easily 12 years old. And that's just me not wanting to say 15 because I'm not absolutely positive, but it could be between 12 and 15 years old, this jacket. Oh, honey. <clears throat> I love this jacket when I first, when I was, or should I say over the years as I've been wearing this. Um, and I never... I don't even think this does this but how does this even I don't even know okay so it has a button here so the goal is probably for the lapel to lay flat like this and yeah just to lay flat that's just a detail but honey you couldn't tell me nothing with this little jacket on nothing but I don't know know about her I mean she's cute that's not the question it's just does she remain a part of the collection and when I said okay and this if this can't because this came out of that bag I know for a fact that I have not seen this jacket in easily six years five years six years have not even laid eyes on it that's another story. We're going to go through those bags, you and I. We're going to go through those bags one day. But until then, we're just going to dig. So, this is the laundry jacket. Cute little number. Okay. What's that? We did... The super dry, we did the two by Serena Williams, we did this um all worthy and laundry. So that's five, right? One, two, three, four, five. That means we have did I tell you at the beginning of the video how many jacks we were going through? Because I think it's like ten or eleven. So hang in there because we got a way to go. All right, this next jacket. When I say <laughs> I love fatigue, like camo fatigue, that camo, mm. camo, anything, like I just love it, and I love all camo, the brown camo, which is I think army, I love all camo, green, or is that navy, I should know that. But in any case, this is faux, and this is the Colleen Lopez brand, another HSN brand. So um, are we getting a theme here? Am I telling you, are you picking up what I'm putting down? When I say I have never worn this jacket, and when I saw it, I fell in love with it. And it's a really, like... I don't know, a muted type of camo. I don't know, can you see that? Anyway. I just really like her. I mean, I like all my jackets, that's why I have them. Because if I didn't, I would have sent them back. But, I, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't even know how this jacket looks. I don't think I ever even... 
wonder did I even try the jacket on and look at it in the mirror. I don't know if I did. All I knew is I think I tried it because I wanted to feel how it felt across um, my chest. But that's the extent of it. Like I said, I don't zip my jackets up. I mean, I will, but I don't, I don't zip my jackets up. So, that's how it looks zipped up. But like I said, I probably wouldn't even have my arms zipped. Let's see how that, okay. Okay. So, this is the jacket. And I mean, I think she's, she's not running a mill at all. She's definitely unusual. And the color is beautiful. Um, and the color is beautiful. So, I really, I feel like I'm saying I'm keeping everything. And that's not what we're here to do. So, y'all let me know. She's cute. And I still don't see her in the mirror because I can't see myself in the monitor, but. We gotta, we gotta get this done. So, you don't have to tell me, you have to tell me what we're doing here. And please don't tell me to throw this one, I mean, get rid of this one. No, seriously, I need your help. But again, this is Colleen Lopez, a quite stylish woman. I don't even know if she's still with the channel. I haven't seen it in so long, but. Okay, next up, let's go to, I think we've done everything up here. Allworthy, Shelly's Laundry, Colleen Lopez. Oh, did we do this one? Oh no, we didn't do this one. Okay, next let's do this one. Did we? No. ABS. This is another one. That was, I'm sure you can tell, that was in some just bald, not, I don't want to say bald up because but yeah, that's basically what it was. It was in a plastic bag, just, you can see. Actually, on this one, I kind of like that it got crinkled up, but this had a really straight, kind of clean look. Um, did I show you on the hanger? I don't think I did, did I? So here's how it looks. right this too i've gotten a lot of wear out of i'm sure i've owned this for 10 years just like this one just like the shelly siegel one so i mean they're good they're really good jackets i like them all but this one is similar in many respects or should I say in some respects to the one by Shelly Siegel this laundry by Shelly Siegel so it could come down to I mean they, they're very different jackets that like, like I'm very clear about that that this is not this but I think style wise I was about to say, I think style-wise, they would serve the same purpose, but I don't know. This one is, I don't know. 
Help. Is what we're doing here. Help. All right. We have one, two, three, four, five more to go. Y'all all right? All right. Here we go. So this is, as you can see, a tan, like that racing tan color. When I say brand spanking, I mean brand spanking. And I haven't even taken the papers off. I don't even know how this fits. But I've probably had this for six years, maybe. Um, this is by a brand called Geely, G-I-L-I, which stands for Got It, Love It. Now, I know this brand is from QVC. Uh. Oh, and it has the, what is this called? The flexible arm. You know what the material is. Now, I thought this was just darling because it has the peplum. Can you see that peplum? I just thought, now this, depending on where I'm going, I may zip up because I want to get that real peplum feel. I'm going to move over so hopefully you can see that. Is that precious or no? It is so cute. And again, it's the color. This, uh, I think it's called racing tan or British tan or something like that. But you see this color a lot with Burberry, that color leather. And this is faux, if I didn't mention that. Um, but I really, I really, when I saw these, I really, did I say these? Did I just tell that we have another one of these coming up? So, like I told you, I have a bit of a obsessive personality when it comes to fashion. And... Yes, I do have this in another color. Oh, I just think this is so darling, but I've never worn it. And I, like I said, I probably had it for about six years. You know what? On those channels, you they keep a running log. And I think I can go and see like when I purchased these jackets. That would have been nice to know. But I, I'm, I'm pretty certain that it's about maybe six years that I've had that. So, here's the other one. Never worn. Even though the paper's off, I'm, I, I never wore these jackets at all. You can see that this has just been probably left in the very box that it came in. But they're just cute, cute jackets when you when you may have to do a more conservative type of feel. But you want to wear leather. Same jacket. But in black. So, I don't know if it's an automatic that since I have two, it, these are one of the ones that needs to go because they're in different colors. So, let me know if, if I have two in different colors that that's an automatic one of them has to go. Because then that would be the case with the Serena jacket as well because I have two of those, remember, in the black and the cream. All right. See what this one is. What is this? I don't even know. Oh my goodness. Okay. This jacket. I have <laughs> I have never worn this jacket. This jacket is so cute. This was a gift. 
a good Judy of mine gave me this. She said she saw this and she immediately thought me because of this ruffle. I love, give me a ruffle. I love a ruffle. I love a ruffle. Oh my goodness, this is by Aqua. This is by Aqua, okay. Cute. Cute, right? And of course you wanna fluff your ruffle, give your ruffle some life. It's been, you know, packed away, so it's flattened, but. This is another one that I've never worn. And see that she's cute she's a gift so I think I have to keep her I mean just give me a reason but yeah she's cute so tell me what you think about her obviously that flap would need to be folded back so it would lay down but she's good right That ruffle just does it for me. Right? All right. We are getting there. Yeah, she's real cute. She is just too cool for school. Okay. All right. Next up, your idol lead asked me, cool G rap, get on the mic for the symphony. All right. This is I keep taking it off the hanger before I show it to you. This one is faux. Cute, right? Cute, cute, cute. Mm -hmm. This brand is G by Juliana. Juliana is Juliana Rancic, I believe is how you pronounce her last name. And she is Juliana from ETV, uh, E! News, where she would do the red carpet with Joan Rivers. And then she created her own line with um, HSN. HSN seems to be a running theme here. As a matter of fact, home shopping seems to be a running theme here. But in any case, yes, she... Um, she has a brand. I don't know if she still does. I got, I've had this jacket for maybe, I want to say maybe four or five years. I think I've worn it twice because, you know, it's just being in this tropical climate, you just don't get at it much. And besides, it had just been put away. So. I think I'm, I, I don't think this one is a question. I think she has to stay. Cause she is just too cute. And I mean, the motifs, like I, first off, I love a serpent motif. I love a snake motif. I think, I love snakes period, but I just think they are, well, all of God's creatures are intelligent, but or are they? I don't know. But I know that snakes are quite intelligent creatures. And I just think they're beautiful. And so she had me at snake motif on the arm. And I have a lot of things with snake motif. I love a lot of snake motifs and skull motifs 
And I just mentioned those two because a lot of times those motifs are shown among certain groups of people. But, I mean, the skull is one of God's most brilliant designs. I mean, it houses the brain. Wait, y'all came here for leather jackets. Let me stay focused. Anyway, I love a good snake motif. I love the heart she did over here. It's just beautifully done. I think a firefly of some sort or dragonfly. Um, and then what else is here? Oh, that might be a dragonfly. Listen, I don't know, but I just thought this jacket was too cute. The fit is so, she cut it so well. Oh, and that's the thing about her line. She, her father was, or I'm sorry, her father is, as far as I know, a master tailor um, from Italy. And she tells the story of how he just, he taught her what she knows about cut and fit. And when you hear her talk about it, it is like, she is so, it's such a beautiful story. But when I tell you her cut on her things, I have actually, I have some of her clothing from her line. Her cut is, you just can't beat it. And you can tell that she insists on the utmost quality or precision when it comes to cut because her, her clothes speak for themselves, her, her her garments speak for themselves. So I say all of that to say, we're keeping this one. I don't know what you could say really as far as this one is concerned to be amongst the ones to get rid of because it's just, it's so unique. So, and like I said, I'm paring down to build back up a curated collection because right now I just have a lot of leather jackets and I want a leather jacket collection, so. There's that. So I can say with certainty that so far, I really want to keep this one. I really want to keep this one, which is the G by Juliana. I've gotten two wears out of this, but that's not why I want to keep it. I want to keep it because I love it. Um, and then, what else do we have here? Let me put this up here. Because it's just a lot going on. So, I really want to keep this one. I really want to keep the... I really want to keep this one from super dry and I'm, I'm I, I have to keep this one well, I don't have to but I really want to I really I, I just you guys I'm keeping this one there's no question about that so there's that. I know you're like, well, if you keep it them all, what you need us to help you figure out? <laughs> but I do need help. Okay. We move. Oh. Our last one. Now this one is hard. Just go ahead. Let me know. It's hard. And when I mean hard, I mean it goes hard. Like it goes hard in the paint. Like it's that jacket. You already know. Just the, ugh, the cut, the weight. This is MCM. Probably my most, ex not probably. That's not a probably. This is my most expensive leather jacket um it's the one with the silicone infused into the logo and then the details on the front i'm looking at it you supposed to be looking i really really love this jacket and I have to say 
I mean, do I have to say it? You know I'm keeping this one. Now, I, this one, I don't need your help with. Like, I'm keeping it a buck. I don't, I don't need your help with this one. Because this is the one that I believe made me want to say, okay, when, when you spend, let me not give my philosophy. This one made me say, you know what? I have a lot of leather jackets. Let me go find them. Let me dig them up. And maybe somebody else can get to enjoy them because I love the finery of this and I want more jackets like it. So, I don't know if I showed you. It has a inside pocket. And the interesting thing about this, I mean, aside from the fact that it has this silicone logo that I just think is bad, but the zipper pulls on this, I don't know. I just love the zipper pulls on this. The zipper pulls, can you see that? Are weighty, they're substantial. And then on top of that, have the logo engraved in it. But it's just a substantial, substantial part of me, aspect of the zippers. And, and I mean, it's to be expected. Now, this is a size medium, I think. And maybe I could have taken this in a small, maybe. But I do know that honey, listen, some people say your leather jacket is supposed to, people talk about the fit of leather jackets and how they're supposed to fit. Um, my thing is, I, I just need it to look good. So whether it fits loose, whether it fits tight, whether it fits oversized, whether it fits, it doesn't matter as long as it looks good. And this right here, hey, baby, I don't know if you can see the logo aspect of it. I'm standing on my tippy toes, but We'll be keeping her. She's a yes. Anyway, that's everything. I think we've gone through all of the jackets. Let me know what you think about which ones can stay, and which ones can go. I really like that camo one. I really do because it's so unique and that's really what I'm going for in paring down to build back up. I mean, to, to create my collection is I want it to be unique. It's got to be funky. Like it gotta be bad. Um, I don't want anything ordinary or maybe want ordinary like the peplum one. I think that's ordinary in the sense of a peplum, but not necessarily a leather jacket. So so we know, remember this one is a keeper, super dry is a keeper, G by Juliana, a keeper. And MCM, a keeper. And now that we know that those four, for certain, out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve leather jackets, out of twelve leather jackets, we know that. There are four that I'm definitely not parting with, these four. Now, if I had to pick one more on my own, it would be the camo because it's just so unique. But I am going to yield to you in the sense that I yield 
you telling me what I should keep because I don't know even after you tell me I just don't know I don't know but that's everything so thank you for tuning in I can't wait to see which ones you say I should keep and which ones you say should go even if one of the ones that you say should go is one of the ones that I already said I'm going to keep I'd just be curious to know why you don't agree with me. But if you don't, I do want to know. But these are these are amazing. All I love all of my jackets. Um, and like I said, I don't get much wear out of them. So that can't be a determining factor because I don't get wear out of practically any of them. It's it's rare that I do, but I just love a leather jacket. I'm a northeast girl and that's just what it is and probably what it's always going to be. Thank you so much for tuning in. And like I said, I can't wait to hear from you on which one should stay, which one should go. And I'll see you next time.